day. T- Tom, good morning. Hey, Neil, how are you doing? I'm very good. More to the point, how are you? Not too bad. I mean, I'm, I'm surprised at what happened. I'm listening there to Peter Gray. I mean, it's, they have some cheek coming on the, on, the, on the radio like that. I really do, like... I mean, I've kept my counsel quiet for the last week and a half while these guys have tried to bully me and the people involved, my family and people who have genuinely put over a million euros into this football club. Real money, real time. Money talks and bullshit walks, Neil, right? You've got a business downtown there. And if you tell people that you'll pay for the steak tomorrow, that won't do. You can't serve steak tonight if you don't pay for it tonight. I mean, this guy doesn't have a house in Cork. That was just in the he doesn't pay tax in Cork. He doesn't have a car registered in Cork. You know? I'm here for the saving of the city. Come on. Come on, no, Neil. You said you know? you're, are you saying yeah. you're yeah, here no, for I'm the... Just oh, he's you saying that he's... These, you give these people time in the air, and that Jim McCarthy. I mean, you reap what you sow. You reap what you sow. I, I mean, and you're... all cl- my PR people will tell me to do this and not say this and don't be surprised, don't be shocked, don't come on the radio under this and I have all my people telling me what to do and send out the, rest, the right press statement and do this. Listen, Sinn Féin, Jonathan O'Brien, these guys, let them come off it. What are they, show, me one, show me one statue in this town to a critic, to people that stand up and do nothing for anybody. This football club was there for the people of Cork. I sacrificed my personal reputation, my absolute everything on this thing. I'm not going to get upset with you now, but I am this, like, okay, this court case is on at 2 o'clock. I know nothing about the details of what they did with the court yesterday, but I'm not surprised, not surprised that Justice Boy saw through these people within an hour of me leaving the court. She saw through them. Within an hour, she saw through these people. You know? How well, can she? Well, what do you? What do you mean? She saw through them. I mean, you're clearly what she, upset. What she, and, is, uh, what she said in the court was, "Put your money where your mouth is." Right? We're back in court at two o'clock today, and I'm going to decide what we're going to do with this football club. I've got good people. I might not, I might not have a lot of people, but the people who are with me support me and believe in what we're trying to do. And it's not about money. I'm making money. Okay, I invest in something because I thought the city would deserve it. And my pe- my my friends and my family and the people I love deserve more than this. Right? Yeah. And your cheap shots on the radio. Your cheap shots and your quick blinds to learn something from it. We had nothing tonight. Typical of Sinn Féin and the people they represent were left without a football club. And we're, le- we're left without nothing. So you can get another ad in at 10 o'clock. Right? It's not worth it, Neil. We're bigger than that. And the people we represent are bigger than that. I, I don't... I don't quite, are bigger than no, that, I don't right? quite follow you. Are, are, are you yeah. having... Are yeah, you we're having bigger a... than that. We're bigger than that. And we're going to, we're going to do what we can by 2 o'clock today. Okay? Yeah. And like, listening to those people who don't pay tax in this town. Who don't d- even have the car tax on their car. But I met him with an English rich car. I'm nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. But they come into town and they're over here for the city. And it's a beautiful place, 150 miles from anywhere else. Bollocks. But well, wait a second. Wait, wait a yeah. second now. Yeah. You, you know, with with regard to the tax issue, you do, you owe tax one hundred and sixty grand's worth to the revenue. Yeah. You owe you owe VAT and everything. So you need to be you need you need you need to be careful before you say things like that. You owe yeah. PRSI. Yeah. Uh, you know, all of that has to be paid. That's why you're in the mess that you're in for not yeah. paying bills, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Neil, that was paid when I left. When I signed the documents in court yesterday, they had everything done. They represented themselves. That everything was done. The first time money was looked for. The first time money was looked for was about half past two yesterday. And all of a sudden, they couldn't pay this guy. They couldn't do this. Will you wait a couple of weeks? Will you do this? So look, I could be doing that every day. I could do that every day in business. There's no money out there. There's a credit crisis. And because of that, we're losing a football club? That's not fair. That's not fair. Oh, well, I mean, I would agree with you in that regard. People are being put out of work here. And I, I, had yeah, ho- I would have... 600,000 people nearly out of work in this country. Yeah, and this well, Jonathan O'Brien comes on then. They're outrageous. No. Their behaviour has been immoral from the first day. He says from that you were day. deliberately frustrated the process. Yeah, come to, off it. But, Look, I didn't but why wouldn't you... They, but, took to, they were taken... I gave them the company for nothing yesterday. I got nothing from the company. You know? And so I go down to the boardwalk tomorrow and I tell you, get out of the boardwalk. I want to keep everything. All right, well, let's leave that, let's leave that down there. The and let's, yeah, but let's that's leave the, the boardwalk where that is and let's just deal with the yeah. facts that are before yeah. us. That's I mean, yeah, that's, that, that's what it is. But that's what it is. Get out, of the, get out of the place and I'm taking over. That's what I have to deal with for 10 days. I have to listen to PR spin, PR But, spin, Tom, it's, it's insolvent. Ins- but it's, it's insolvent. You, but it's, it's, listen, it's now half past 10. You, it's we're insolvent. Oh, no, hang on a second. We're, we're it's insolvent. You agreed to walk away, didn't you? You said you would do all of those but things. It wasn't insolvent. They committed money to the business. Yes, so but your model... But, but, listen, Tom, your truth, model was insolvent. Comes out. The truth comes out. At the end of the day, I'm trying the to get truth to it. comes out. I'm trying to get to it. But I understand that you're a motive. I can appreciate that. I understand that. I understand. Because I put it into it. I walked where other people talked. 
I did the business and my friends supported me and but, I did it. But how can and you say it, uh, how I can you say that? yesterday in good faith I walked away yesterday because they had a deal done with the FBI and John Delaney rang this and they did this and get cocked and out and I said okay I said, I, okay I was hurt but I walked away I walked away I did the best I could and I walked away. Did you look f- Did you look for 140 grand to walk away? Yeah I did not look for 140 grand to walk away. Well why are they I saying tried, you did then? Because I have, I, have, I, have, I have property that there was no rent paid by the company and I look for the rent to be paid on that company. I mean, like, John is not bringing to your mind, like, that's the reality of business, you know what I mean? And that's not about that the rent wasn't paid by the company and I look for the company to pay the rent and they, I mean, I have tracked in text, I can show you all that stuff, but I mean, I mean I'm not going to get into that. It's now half past ten or quarter to eleven and the, the high court is on at two o'clock and I'm going to do my damnedest to find out exactly what happened and try and get this sorted by two o'clock. So, Neil, look, the very best for well, things and then uh, thanks for taking my call. I'm sorry for being so emotive. Well, I, I, mean, I, didn't get, I didn't get much out of you. I didn't get a whole okay. lot to say all myself right. but okay. with regards to no, your... Uh, your you can but continue to make your snide comments about business and trying to, like, you me? bring on business people there who are trying to make a difference. Wait a second, Tom. There's, there's, <laughs> there's people around this town trying their best. What are you talking about, snide comments? I, I, I resent yeah, that. I mean, it's planned. It's planned for people sitting at home. Like, what's happening? They what snide? No, I, no what, what snide comments are you talking about? Look, I'm not going to get into it, Neil, okay? The very, the, look, I, I, I'm not going to waste you. I'm sorry. I'm, I had to go on because my own lady rang me, frustrated with what they're hearing. And my boy's at school, and he's he listening to this kind of stuff. People say, oh, don't mention your child, and don't mention the home. That's the reality of what I've had to suffer. Uh, look, I don't, I don't know who you're getting. I don't know who you're getting advice from, Tom. I'm trying to be as fair as and balanced as I can be. I and I have to say to you, it's very, it's very difficult to be fair and balanced to somebody who won't talk to you. Yeah. So, so if, if, if you've had recommendations or advice from people in the past to stay off the air and issue press statements, perhaps they weren't, that wasn't the most accurate advice you could have had. Okay, all right. Cheerio. All right. Well, goodbye for now. Cheers. Thanks. A uh, very emotive Tom Collin there, chairman of uh, Cork City Football Club, uh, heading to Dublin uh, to the High Court. Uh, I need to be careful now because I, I resent anything with regards to being told I'm making snide comments. Uh, the whole bloody thing is a complete disaster, if you ask me. But Jonathan O'Brien does want to respond. Jonathan, good morning. Thanks, Neil. He, he, um, he, he just wanted to talk one-on-one, but I, I think it turned into more of a rant, really, so that's just the way it is. I'll, I'll, I'll allow people to make up their own mind, but you wanted to respond. I just wanted to respond. I mean, this is typical of Tom. He comes on the radio. He refuses to engage in discussion, as he has done for the last 10 days. Then he comes on, and not only does he criticise me personally, but he tries to make a political out of it by criticising Sinn Féin and the people they represent. Look, it's quite clear Tom Carlin is a lunatic who has just lost his marbles and he's trying to blame everyone else for this. No, that's unfair. That's unfair. It's you'd have not to, unfair. No, you'll have to withdraw that actually, Jonathan, I'm no, afraid. Because you, you'll have to because otherwise I think you could find yourself in all sorts of problems if you go around calling people lunatics who've lost their marbles. So uh, I, th- I think you should apologise for that and say that if, if nothing else he's emotive at this time, I would imagine. That would be the way to put it. Okay. Yeah? You withdraw it? I, I will withdraw it, but I mean, I think... I think his behaviour on the radio this morning gives the people of Cork some indication of what we have been going through for the last 10 days in trying to save this club. <sighs> What's he going to the High Court for? Because he's going to be wound up at 2 o'clock. But uh, he, he's still talking about trying to save the club. Did, did I mishear him? It's impossible. He doesn't have a licence, Neil. He doesn't have a licence. He doesn't have a license right. because he wouldn't sit down with us for okay. the last 10 days. All right. So he, he needs to face up to it. It's over uh, and, uh, and, uh, and it's the end of the road, if you like, in top flight for this, for this one. For, okay. for now, anyway. All right. Thanks for now. Cheers, yeah. Jonathan. Thank you. Much obliged. As you can see, a lot of emotive people um, involved in this. Uh, none more so than Tom Collin this morning.